I'm taking off again. President's tense. Big white house. Big white fence. The industry fake. I can't get involved. These niggas capping. Haven't even seen the shit that I saw. Um, this is this. The videos like this is where I wish I had like a uh, like fellow y'all parents, so I can just wish myself, you know, a cuddle buddy. But you know, you can't have everything. Um, so something tells me I'm gonna need a cuddle buddy for this. But let's go. Let's get it. So go. So hungry. Top five scary, unexplained sounds that you never want to hear. Unwelcome guests. This next clip was sent in to me by John Plymel. He says that he and his friend Alan were checking out an abandoned farmhouse near his grandmother's home in upstate New York. Why? As you can see, the house is isolated. It sits in the middle of nowhere on wow. a barely traveled back road. Wow. The outside looks like something right out of a horror movie. And the inside is no better. Bro, it stinks. That's a sign of red flags. Look at all this garbage. You sure it's garbage and not like dead bodies? Look how old those TVs are. Houses of death trap, full of rot and mold. The upstairs floor is so rotten the two are afraid to even try to venture up the stairs. D don't. And the basement is piled with garbage. Yo, I guess that's the. Is this the basement? Yeah, that's disgusting. It's just piled with trash. But then they hear something upstairs. What? Go, 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 stop, stop. Oh, God. Oh, my God, go. Just get out of there. Hurry up. <laughs> Through one of the narrow rotten holes in the floor, it almost looks like someone is staring down at them from above. Or maybe it's just an optical illusion. Yeah. I... Either way, the boys did not return to investigate further. Oh. What? On the YouTube channel The Haunted Side, ghost hunters Patrick and Sean investigate the supposedly haunted Donovan Mill in Nevada. In this clip, the Haunted Side team is using a Kinect SLS infrared camera to scan for potential ghosts. And then this happens. I'm not sure if it's old floorboards just kind of popping as I'm walking, but I'm, I, I've gotten that twice now. Really now. And I'm getting a lot of high pitch frequency interference in here. Whoa, what the f was Woo! that? Woo! I have no... What the f <laughs> my, heart. my heart? I don't know, dude. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what that was. It's mapping somebody over there, dude. Is it? It's mapping somebody over there. Dude, get... I heard like a... Like a blood-curdling girl scream. Like, like it sounded like it was in the distance. But I, I, I don't even... Dude, I didn't hear that. Woo. That was very, very spooky. Oh. Whoa, what the f Oh my god. Whoa, what the f Next, they set up the camera to film in a large room that is one of the oldest parts of the Donovan Mill. 
We leave the night vision camera recording in this room all night, and about 45 minutes after we leave, we catch something unbelievable. What? Okay. Okay. You got it. What's really strange about this figure is that it appears to be moving in slow motion. Here's the same clip played three times in fast forward so you can get a better idea of what the movement would look like in real time. Later on, the guys use a weird little device called an obelisk, which supposedly allows ghosts to manipulate electromagnetic fields to produce words from an internal dictionary. But they get more than just a few random words. Here's whatever energy you need. Before time. Check. Before time? What? Why does that say two, two words? Yeah, it's two whole words on it. Oh, 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 AKA, you're clucked. Bro, that said it weird too. Yeah, they're like dragon, dragon. Oh my god. What the? F that was Dude, it. no, that was not me. Dude, oh my god. I got chills up to my. Dude, I got chills all the way up to like. That wasn't you? <laughs> that was not me, dude. Oh, 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 oh no. Bro, that said it weird too. Yeah, they like dragon, dragon. Oh my god. Get out of there! Go! That was true. No, that was not me. Go! What's unbelievable about this chair moving is if you watch my body and the table, they're both completely still up until when the chair hits the opposite side of the table. So there's no way that I would have accidentally nudged it or kicked it or anything like that because you would have seen both of those move. Did the haunted side team catch a screaming ghost on camera? Yes! What do you think? By the way, you can check out this entire video as well as the Haunted Side's other investigations over on their YouTube channel. The Lady in the Water. Yeah, alright. Drown well, that last bitch. Week, this next clip has gone viral in the country of Saudi Arabia, even appearing on the nightly news. So the story goes that the townspeople of Jazan, Saudi Arabia, begin to hear strange sounds coming from a long abandoned water tank. When they gathered at the tank to investigate, things just got stranger. What? You know what's even? You know why that, why that specific scream was so scary? Was it because of the echo and how long the echo lasted. You know, you feel me? It was like something like, 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 um, like if it was a regular scream. Rah! All right, that's the scream. But then when you add like an echo to it. <clears throat> I'm not clocking with it. Oh my God! All of y'all, all of y'all are clocked. Oh my God! <laughs> is he praying? What is he saying? I wish I, I wish he had. People called local authorities, but by the time they arrived, the screaming had stopped. They investigated, but there was absolutely no one inside the tank. That's re that's crazy. <laughs> Oh 
300 feet down. Yeah. I... Over on the YouTube channel Exploring Abandoned Mines, a guy named Frank and his team explore some crazy out of the way caves and mines. In this video, his team member Gabe agrees to be lowered into a 550 foot deep mine shaft in Mexico. Why would you agree now, to that? They're even slightly claustrophobic or have a fear of heights. This alone is pure nightmare fuel. I'm going down the mine shaft right now. I'm going to be going down 600 feet. Wow. Yeah, so. It's scary. I'll admit that. Oh my god. scarier when the rope gets tangled and Gabe is just left dangling. Oh, now. dang. We're just, we're just sorting out some knots in there, like that twist in the rope. I don't want to sit here too long. My imagination will go crazy. Let's <laughs> <laughs> just look around a little bit. Sign. It's... You can... It's... Oh. My God. It's, it looks like... It literally looks like it just goes on forever. That's crazy. Just super scary. Look, Jesus. I should probably change my mind right about now. But the creepiness doesn't stop there. At around 300 feet down in the mine shaft, Gabe hears something. What? Oh, <gasps> it's to drop. First, it almost sounds like a quiet little voice says, Oh, then there's a bizarre hissing sound. Oh my, oh. What was that? There's been rampant speculation in the YouTube comments as to what the strange sounds might be. Everything from animals and creatures to simple rope noise. But what do you think? What if that rope? Check out the entire two-part series of the 550-foot descent into the mine over on the YouTube channel, Exploring Abandoned Mines. The creatures what of if, the night. What if that wire snapped? So in this video recorded in East Texas, the uploader claims that there are some strange sounds going on outside his home. Well, we're sitting around hanging out, and watching TV, and cats are laying right here at my feet. Next thing you know, they get up and take out front and the tail's pumped out, so I heard something I didn't like. Then some strange sounds. Heard a few bangs on the house, so they heard something. Why is this motherfucker acting all nonchalant like these noises that he, he be hearing, he be hearing like on a daily basis? Like he's not used to, like he's used to this. Like, no, brother. No. If your dogs are just... If you have your, like, if your dogs are just comfortable, and then one second, like, one second they're comfortable, then another second they, like, they acting crazy, and they hauling that, like, ain't, hey, it's something wrong with that. Something I didn't like, so, let's well, so check it out. Let's go on. You got all that. You got it. You good. Dark as hell. It it sounds like it's just a bunch of them. Whatever it is. It sounds like it's a bunch of a hella oh my, it sounds like it's a lot of them. So much so that y'all should probably go back inside the house and lock everything. But instead, you're outside. That's what I'm talking about. 
first, he dismisses the sounds as simply being the howls and yips of faraway coyotes. But then the sound gets closer, and doesn't seem so much like coyotes anymore. Took you long enough. So did this guy capture the sound of strange beasts howling and screaming into the night? Yes. Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Thanks for watching. You can suggest videos at nukestop5 at gmail.com and follow me on Twitter to find out just how a CGI roast chicken became a popular viral alien video. And I'm not even kidding. See you next time. I kind of like that. I kind of like that vocal. That was nice. Um, to me, like the one that really, like out of, out of all of these five, the one that really took the cake would have to be. get these in order three number three lady in the water right the only reason that really scared me was because of 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 the scream and how long the scream lasted for and how loud it was but then but then like to put the cherry on top right it was nobody in the water so it's like that's Certain screams just scare the hell out of me. So that right there scared the hell out of me, man. And the fact that it was nobody even in the water. And then the other one that really took the cake would have to be the, uh, where is that? 300 feet down, number two. That, that's, that, that, yeah, that one too, because you're in, I don't know what, I forgot. It was, it just looked like a big, like a, a deep, a deep hole, um, 300 feet down. That really scared me because like, excuse me, oh my God, excuse me. Uh, that really scared me because like, you're, you like, there's basically, you're, you, have, you have limited space up and down. You can't go to the side you can't go front and back like you can't up or down and it looked like he was like well at one point it looked like he was more up than he was down but my only fear about that whole video was that wire snapping like what if that wire snapped he would have been clucked because i sure as hell was not going to rescue you bro i was not off bucks i was not going to rescue you i wasn't um, I promise you I wasn't. But like, yeah, man, you're you're in a deep hole, right? Your space is limited, and then you start hearing sounds. Oh man. That's really scary. That's like being in a uh in a casket. Like trapped in a cat like being alive and trapped in a casket. That's ho oh, ho. Ah, uh, see, now I put myself in that. Oh, God. I'm not claustrophobic, but when it comes to, like, stuff like that, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think everybody has a fear. And I think everybody is, like, either... I feel like if you say, like, you're not scared of heights, then let's put that to, to the test. You feel me? I feel like everybody's scared of heights at some at some at some level at some height you start to get like oh okay um who oh, oh, you start to get you know you feel me and then 
And then I feel like at some point, I feel like everybody's scared at uh, being like, it's, it's like, has a fear of being, uh, being uh, claustrophobic. I feel like everybody's claustrophobic. You know, I feel like if you get in, in a tight enough space, you're going to lose your clucking mind. Same thing goes with being in a sci uh in a uh soundproof room one hundred percent soundproof and it's just it's just you in there that's it nobody else and nothing else or maybe like a camera that's in a corner just recording you right but like nobody else and nothing else. Just recording. It's dead quiet. No sounds whatsoever. And the only sounds you could probably hear is you breathing and probably your heartbeat. That's how quiet it is. Could you even hear your heartbeat? If it was quiet enough? I don't know. But yeah, no. That's crazy. But again, top fives, new top fives. Great video. Watch it. Keep it cool, keep it classy, and I love you. Stay happy, my family.